Okay, in this lesson, we're going to look at something called standard deviation in section 5.3. Here's an introduction. It says here, consider the percent scores from Mr. Martin's two, two math eight classes. So we're going to introduce the concept of standard deviation from these two classes. Uh, class A, here's eight scores, or eight percents. And class B, here's eight percents. It says represent the percent scores for each class on the line plots below. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this first class, so 72 is roughly here, 78, 71, 71. You'll see that they're quite clustered, 65, 67, 62, 78. So that's roughly class A. Class B, <clears throat> uh, we had a student get 85, a student get 65, a student get 30, 90, 50, another 90, a 70, and an 84. So that's that class. Uh, so here's our two classes. Now the next part, at any point if you want to pause this you can and try and calculate things on your own. Uh, it says determine the mean of the percent scores for each class, so the average. Uh, I've done that for the first class right here, so I've added up all eight scores. So for the first class, and I divided it by 8, and the mean here was 70.5. If you want to try class 2 on your own, you can do that. So the mean percent was 70.5%. Uh, for class B, you might want to try it on your own. I've started it for you. What I've done here is I put the, these 8 scores right here. If I hit equals and divide it by 8, what you'll find is that the average for class B was also 70.5%. So both classes had the same average. <clears throat> So let's answer these following questions. It says, which class appears to be more consistent or clustered? As you can see, class A is all between 60 and 80 percent, so class A appears to be more consistent. Uh, next, which class appears to be inconsistent or scattered? We have a big range between 30 and 90 in class B, so the answer to that would be class B. <clears throat> and finally, what we would say here, here's an introduction to the concept of standard deviation. Hence, class B would be called more deviated, would be said to be more deviated from the mean or separated or dispersed from the mean than class A because they're more scattered. So here's an introduction to what standard deviation is. Then we're going to look at how do we actually calculate or how is it related to a number. Uh, so here's the beginning. Deviation is the distance between a data value and the mean for that same set of data. So if something's quite deviated, it's far from the mean. Standard deviation is the measure of the typical distance or dispersion or scatter of data values in relation to the mean. So how scattered is that data from the mean or average? So for example, this will help you understand standard deviation. A low standard deviation means that this means that most data values are close to the mean. So it's not very deviated. If you've got a low standard deviation, everything's pretty close to the mean. Uh, whereas the opposite would be that a high standard deviation would be most data values are far from the mean. Or another way to say that, a low standard deviation means that data is considered to be more clustered or together. And if you have a high standard deviation or you're rather deviated, uh, your data is considered <clears throat> not terribly consistent or cluttered. I'll just put consistent here. Okay, so what we're going to look at now is how do we calculate this actual value of standard deviation? How do we determine it? We know that a high standard deviation is very uh, scattered and a low standard deviation is very clustered. So how do we calculate the actual standard deviation? So in the next part, you're going to want to skip this part. We'll come back to it. We are going to look at how do we actually calculate the standard deviation for these two Mr. Martin's classes. I have started the first one for you, but I want to actually show you how to do it. So how do we problem solve by hand? So from part A, determine the standard deviation of the percent scores for each of Mr. Martin's two Math 8 classes. I'll show you how to do class A, and you might want to try class B on your own. So for class A, we found that the average was 70.5%. So we, I wrote down all of the eight scores here and I haven't filled in some of it. So what we want to do first of all is find out how far each of those scores is away from the mean. So for example, 72 minus 70.5 is 1.5. Or uh, 78 minus the average, 70.5, the distance is 7.5. Or 65 from 70.5 is negative 5.5. So that's your, that's your starting point. Find out how, how far each data is away from the mean. Uh, your next step, is to square all of these numbers that I have here. So square the deviations. So I would do, for example, 1.5 squared, and I would get an answer. 
So 1.5 squared is 2.25, or 7.5 squared, for example, <clears throat> is 56.25. And the last one that I'll do is negative 5.5 squared. Thing to realize here is that negative squared equal positive. So if I square it, I get a positive value. That's 30.25. So all of these squares should be positive. Uh, the next thing you would like to do so we've found out the deviations, we've squared them. The next thing you want to do is find out the average of this last column here. So add them all up. <clears throat> so 2.25 plus 56.25 plus 0 0.25 plus another 0 0.25 plus 30.25 plus, so you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> So I've just squared them. I got 230. Now the average, since there's eight sets of data that I added there, if I divide that by eight, I'm going to get the average. It's 28.75. And the final thing to do is to calculate standard deviation, you take the square root of that number. So if I take the square root of 28.75, I'll have a numeric value, which will be 5.36, roughly. That's a numeric value for standard deviation. So the standard student deviated from the mean roughly 5.36%. That's what standard deviation means. Uh, what I'd like you to do, actually, before we do that, let's just define what we just did, and then you can try class B on your own. To calculate standard deviation, which is given this symbol, what we first do is calculate the mean. The symbol that's given for that is x with a bar over it, the mean of the data. Uh, the next thing that we did after we calculated the, me the mean was we determined the <clears throat> distance of each data value from the mean. So we took that data value and subtracted the mean from it. After that, we squared all of those values. So we squared the values from step two. So whatever that difference was, we squared all those values. After that, we calculated the average of those squares. So calculate the average of the values from step three. And finally, we determine the square root of the value from step four. So <clears throat> this would be the symbols regarding that. You may see that around. We're not going to use it at all. Uh, but what I've just told you, we're figuring out the sum of all the squares of the differences. And we're taking the average and then square rooting it. But that's quite complicated. So I'd rather have you focusing on the steps to do that. So what I'd like you to do is compare class B to class A and see if you, yourself, you might want to pause this video, uh, can find out the standard deviation of class B. And I'll show you in just a second. You should get an answer of 20.14. Okay, I hope you've tried it on your own. If you haven't, uh, we're going to move ahead and show you exactly what you should have had for class B. It's right below. <clears throat> if you had done it, here's what you found out. You found out, um, you put all the percent scores, you found out their distance from the mean, you squared them all, and, and after you squared them all, you summed that up. So when I summed those squares, I got 3,244 divided by 8 and got the average. Then I took the square root and got that the standard deviation was 20.14, which is much greater than class A because class B was much more scattered. So a high standard deviation means that they're not that consistent. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how can we use technology to calculate standard deviation because this took a lot of work.